Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another squad blur today. And today we have the Luis Suarez, or the inform, the second inform actually, uh, Luis Suarez squad builder for you. And this has to be one of the best teams that I have ever built. Uh, this team is absolutely phenomenal. It has everything. It has the skills, it has the pace, it has the defense. Just an absolutely phenomenal overall, well-rounded team uh, that I really did enjoy playing with. So, just one of the best teams that I've literally ever played with. I don't think I lost a game, and if I did, I only lost one. So, very good team, and I did play around, uh, as you guys can see, eight games or so, because Suarez just had so many goals in eight games. It was just ridiculous. So, starting off the goalkeeper, guys, we do have the Hugo Lloris from Tottenham Hotspurs in the Barclays Premier League. 90, 90 diving, 91 reef flexes 85 handling 68 speed 75 kicking and 84 positioning and uh, 65 000 coins but he is worth every single penny what a phenomenal keeper absolutely played brilliant for me he is just so good uh, a lot of people said that he wasn't too great and wasn't worth the coins but in my opinion at least the one that i got uh, was definitely worth it so moving on to the first center back guys we do have a non-rare philippe mexes from the ac milan and there's no rare version so i don't know why i called him non-rare uh, but 69 pace guys 80 defense and 82 heading such a good center back absolutely so he's so good uh, he has to be one of my favorite players in this game at least for defensemen uh, him and Sako I seem to put in a lot of teams you guys saw Sako in the Kagawa review uh, yesterday and he's just an absolutely phenomenal player I love playing with Mexes uh, he just goes under the radar because he's only 69 pace but he is so good guys seriously go ahead and try him out he's just absolutely phenomenal him on the ball is just unbelievable um I can't say enough about him. He is a very, very, very good player, and I really, truly enjoy using him. So, moving on to the next center back, guys. We do have Aliquia Mangala, another one of my favorite center backs, who I, who I always like to incorporate into my teams. So, uh, 79 pace, guys, 77 defense, and 80 heading. Uh, only 550 coins. So, as you guys can see so far, the defense is only costing me uh, very cheap. It's only costing me about... Uh, you know, 900 coins so far for two absolutely phenomenal players. Um, and then put Loris in the backfield, and that's another 65,000 coins. But you guys can go with Sebastian Frey, who's a very good keeper as well. Um, he's actually out of, uh, I do believe, Genoa in the Serie A. So you, go, you can go ahead and uh, link Frey up with Mangala right there. So, so beautiful goals for Mangala as well. He does stand over six feet tall, so he is a very good keeper. Uh, not a very good keeper, excuse me, guys, I'm talking about Frey. He is a very good center back for me, uh, especially paired up with Mexes. And then our third center back, we do have Pepe, who is is absolutely he is so good in this game and for to only be 6900 coins is just ridiculous so 74 pace guys 84 defense and 82 heading a very good a very solid player most people are not on his bandwagon in real life uh, because of some of his antics and I don't even believe he starts for Real Madrid anymore uh, but for the purposes of FIFA he is very good uh, because he has a high he has high pace and high defense uh, for a center back so moving on to the left mid guys and here's where we get into the skills a little bit we do have Nani from Manchester United I've been wanting to try Nani out forever um unfortunately i did try him out at the left mid position so he only did score one goal in eight games for me so i'm gonna have to try him out at the left forward or the left wing eventually but for sure weak foot then you guys can see the five star skill moves 87 pace 89 dribbling 80 shooting 43 defense 81 passing and then the 53 heading uh 34 000 coins he's going to run you but i do believe that is because he has converted a little bit to his left mid position so um if you guys are gonna go ahead and get him in the four and two and two in the left mid as well he's gonna run you a little bit more but the formation that i play is fairly cheap so uh, that's why he didn't run us too many coins so moving on to the first center mid guys we do have the inform Zhao Moutinho another fantastic player to give a nice link to uh, Pepe and then Mangala as you guys can see uh, 79 pace 84 dribbling 78 shooting 77 defense 86 passing and 71 heading just one of those players who's absolutely phenomenal and very solid for me in the middle of my field uh, four star weak foot and then the three star skimmers but unfortunately he did not slot away any goals uh, but very good you know to pass up to the attackers and I uh, just to hold his work rates are amazing he is everywhere on the field he is such a good player and uh, i absolutely loved playing with him so moving on to the next center mid we have a converted cdm and uh, this card i don't know how people don't notice it it is phenomenal walter gargano from inter milan 81 pace 74 dribbling 62 shooting 78 defense 74 passing and 60 heading how do you have that as a 79 overall rated what a fantastic card and uh, he actually was very good on the ball he actually slotted some goals away for me but a very pacey very very defensive uh, CDM that we did convert to ACM. So he is defensive minded and uh, he held down the midfield fantastic for me. Uh, I can't even imagine using this player in a 4-2-3-1 formation or a 3-5-2. Uh, 81, 81 pace as a defenseman is insane. Um, if I can find some way to partner up him and Luis Gustavo, it would just be game over. So moving on to the right mid guys, we have one of the players that I actually just did a review on at the striker position uh, but now we do have him at the right mid in his regular card. We do have Rodrigo Palacio 88 pace, 86 dribbling 
tackling, 81 shooting, 46 defense, 78 passing, and 64 heading. Three star weak foot, and then the four star skill moves. Uh, one goal in eight games. Like I said, guys, my mids don't really get involved, uh, and the one goal was actually a penalty kick. So my mids don't really get involved for me, but they do help out on the field, passing it up to the attackers. Uh, and the attack for was just absolutely insanity. So moving on to the first or the center forward, guys, not the first striker. We do have Abel Hernandez, who in fact is actually a converted striker. So we did convert him from a striker to a center forward. So 89 pace, 74 dribbling, 68 shooting, 43 defense, 56 passing, and 68 heading. Three star weak foot and three star skill But as you guys can see, he does stand six feet one tall. Uh, one of the best players in this game. I used him on my road to glory. Um, and when I say one of the best players, guys, I don't mean necessarily skill wise or stat wise. What I mean is what you are getting for your money. You are getting a fantastic player, a target man, a tall player, a fast player. Uh, he does have three star skill Actually, last FIFA, he did have four stars. So that was actually really cool. Uh, but used him in one of my um, Road to Glories. Um, and actually came up against him and he was just absolutely dominant as you can see he finishes fantastically right across his body and it does a little bit of a salsa right there so just a very good player for me he is just awesome uh, I definitely go ahead and recommend you guys go ahead and try him out uh, he does kind of go unnoticed because of the fact that Muriel, Mikkeli, Di Natale uh, those are really the strikers that you guys are going for in the Serie A so it's pretty hard when you guys go for those rather than Abel Hernandez, but he's very fast, so I'm sure most people do notice him, uh, but he's a very good player. I really like using him, and he gives some really nice links to uh, the two players that I actually do have up front, and uh, I really like how I did link everything up. So moving on, guys, to the first striker, we do have the upgraded Daniel Sturge, and you guys just got a sneak peek of who the other striker is. We do have the upgraded, um, I do believe he is upgraded, if not at least transferred, uh, Daniel Sturge to Liverpool FC. So 90 pace, guys, 84 dribbling, 78 shooting. 43 defense, 71 passing, and 75 heading. What an absolute phenomenal card. Absolutely insane. Um, I love this man at Chelsea. It is a sad, sad thing that we ended up trading him away, uh, but unfortunately, we did to Liverpool, and he is playing fantastic for them so far, um, and I'm really, it's kind of saddening that we stuck with Torres and didn't, you know, give either Lukaku or, uh, you know, Sturridge a chance, but I just think Sturridge just wasn't happy with where he was, and unfortunately, I just you know, I, I think we should have kept him, but that is just my personal opinion. But in this game, guys, he is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, in real life, partnering him up with Suarez, you know, which you guys already saw, we are going to be partnering up um, him up with the second inform Luis Suarez once we do get to him. Uh, but he's just absolutely phenomenal. Six foot two to have 90 pace and a shot like he does have is just insane, guys. Uh, what a great player. What a fantastic player. He actually was very expensive when he first came out. I do believe he's running around 90,000 coins, which is not 90,000. Why am I thinking that? Around 15,000 coins. Excuse me, guys. Not, I don't even know where 90,000 came from, but I think I was thinking of the pace. So, we're at 15,000 coins, but he's now very affordable at 3,000 or around 4,000. So, very good player to have. And uh, he links up perfectly with our next striker, which is the second in from Luis Suarez. Once again, guys, just want to take some time out and thank Gilly Gills for letting me borrow him. Uh, thank you very much, man. I definitely do appreciate that. 83 pace and 91 dribbling, 89 shooting, 57 defense, 78 passing, and 73 heading are the stats on Luis Suarez. Forced our weak foot and forced our skill moves and cost Gilly Gills a little bit over 80. 800,000 coins, um, but you know, in all honesty, no player is really worth 800,000 coins. I mean, you can go ahead and get so many players in this game for so cheap. Uh, just, you know, the market's really weird and a lot of people are buying packs, so uh, basically, guys, the card volumes are very high. Uh, what an absolutely fantastic strike with Suarez's weak foot right there. I was just so amazed when I made that and so happy. Uh, it was such a good strike, such a good ball. But, uh, you know, the card volume of most cards are very high, which means, guys, there's a lot of them on the market. So you can buy a lot of really good cards, really good, uh, you know, FIFA FIFA fitting cards, meaning high pace, um, you know, decent shot, um, but basically just high pace because pace basically runs ultimate team, uh, um, and it kind of determines it. You you can basically buy a lot of those for very cheap. So to justify something and say it's worth 800,000 coins, I don't know um, if I can really say that. That's like saying Eber is worth 600,000, which he is currently going for or around that. Uh, if you guys do remember in FIFA 12, he was going for around 40,000 coins, um, which is insane that he's going for 600,000 now. I don't know what happened. Um, there's just so there's an influx of coins in this game because of seasons and uh, coin sellers and everything to that sort. So that is why I think players are going for a little bit more uh, than they typically do. But nonetheless, guys, Suarez was awesome to have. He's just kind of a token, just kind of a cool piece to have in a team to have the uh, informed Suarez, who is black rather than, uh, you know, the gold card in your team. But the regular Suarez is just as good, and you guys can go ahead and build this team with that one as well. Um, I actually had to use regular Suarez in a different team, which you guys did see, um, I do believe, a few days ago, and 
he was absolutely phenomenal for me as well uh, but nothing compared to this inform it was just absolutely so good it was a god so very nice free kick right there as you can see Suarez can just basically do anything for you so thank you guys for watching so much I definitely do appreciate it if you guys did enjoy a like would mean the world to me your support over the past week has been simply amazing guys I'm doing a little bit of uh you know restructuring with the channel and I will update you guys on that uh, soon enough but thank you guys for watching so much leave a like if you did enjoy but until next time guys this has been Urso and have a good one